Hello. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install with a 2.0 and just get started with it. So you go to the Dropbox showcase where the download files are available. And uh, so there are some pointers on migration and so on. But uh, to install, uh, this is the preferred way to install the local host which is a zip file which can just be extracted. So we download this file. And in some cases, the Postgres server is not able to establish connection through this route. And if that happens, then you need to go with the installer, uh, which can be installed like any other uh, application on your computer. OK, so once this download is complete, I will move that file to my old WEDA folder. That's where. I prefer to put it and right click and with the zip menu I extract here. And this is actually installing the entire Postgres server. So this is a large package and it can take some time to unzip on non SSD hard drives. But here it should go pretty fast. Okay, so while this is unzipping, uh, we can already see what all comes with this. Okay, we can't. Yes, we can. So what comes with this, we also have the latest version of Times Code, and we will also get the demo models. And, uh, and of course, then there is this folder, which has the way the application. So the unzip is almost done. And this file uh, can be used to migrate old SNT. We'll see that in another video. So we go to this folder. And if we sort it on type, then the first file is the one you are looking for. That's the application. And you execute that to launch with our front end. Actually, it should not be called with a front end anymore because this is uh, uh, this includes the results functionality. So at some point we'll name it with a I guess. Okay, so you shall see something like this uh, with only one button here, navigator. So if you click that, then you automatically go to one of the demo models, demo number twelve, and uh, you can synchronize the model. So one uh, big difference with the old version is that you know the processing and reading Excel used to happen, um, I mean, in tandem all the time. We used to read uh, the Excel files, and we used to do the processing alongside. But now there are three different distinct sections. So first, we search for the tags. Then we will read the tags, and then we have nothing more to do with Excel, uh, unless there is a fill table involved, of course, or there are parametric scenarios. So, so you see the file reading is all done. So that took 38 seconds. And now the processing will happen uh, just within the Postgres uh, database. So this will finish soon. And after that, we will browse the model, and we will try running it. So you will see the time it took to do all the processing here. So that's done. Now we have a model. And from here, we can choose to go to Browse.
I think the this video recording thing is playing some tricks because um, okay um, so I mean you you can um, just select processes and uh, commodities on attributes and and click browse to see and you can also shortlist so if you wanted to see only the ELE processes then you can use that combo and you select two processes and browse and then you see the the output here and like before you can uh, double click to see where that information comes from okay so that's browse then you have uh, items list where you can see uh, the complete lists of processes, commodities, commodity groups, and user constraints. You can also export this to Excel. Then you can um, look at items detail, which is like in the items master we had. So uh, you can just single click on any process or commodity in this view to navigate through the res and see the parameter information. You can also filter on regions here. Okay, then run manager is what is most different in this uh, new version of VEDA, but you already have some cases defined for all the demo models. So let's say I select a few. I select three of them and I click solve. So this says maximum runs eight. So it can manage up to eight runs in parallel and you can also change that number. And uh, so it will make those runs and then it will import the data GDX files and it will import the VD files um, and then we'll be able to go and look at the results. So these pop-ups will be directed to some, you know, some somewhere within the UI at some point, but right now they just come. And um, now it's reading the VD files, so now it would be done with all three. Okay, so we have three runs. So now we can go and look at the results. And notice that these are shortcuts which are very similar to what we used to have. It's bringing up this reading form because it's reading the set definitions once again. And here we have the results. So we have the three scenarios that we ran, and this is a work in progress, so it's not very descriptive, but this is where you can look at the views, and uh, you can filter here. So if you want to see everything related to ELC, then I select this, and I load, so it will show me the results here. Um, now let's say we run another case. So we run the first three. Now I run B and C. And, and you can keep using all these things in parallel. So we can go to the results even now. We could even browse while it is solving. Uh, so notice that we have A, D, and E. And what did we run just now? We ran two others, so we should actually see five. Now we don't see five because they've not been, you know, there's no import step like we used to have, so we need to go here and refresh. So refresh is equivalent to uh, importing scenarios. If uh, 
they don't show up so now you see we have five scenarios and that completes a very very rough tour of uh, the new weather and I will make separate videos to discuss each one of these functionalities in more detail but let's stop here for this one